Do you ever wake up, look in the mirror, and you're just like, who am I and how am I here? In the past year, everything in my life has changed. Literally from the books that I read, the fact that I've been reading my Bible for like 192 days consistently, the friends that I never thought I could have, I have, the music that I listen to is different, even the fact that I do my laundry all in one day and put it away, huge accomplishment for me. I actually enjoy cleaning and keep up with the dishes, and probably most impressive, I go to the gym six days a week and have been for a little over three months. Oh, and me and my boyfriend got this cat, Phoenix. My life really is a coming of age movie. And if you're new, I think I need to give you a little bit of background. Previously on Sydney McGee's life. Basically, when I was 18 years old, I got married. <laughs> I got married to my childhood best friend. And a couple months later, I questioned my entire religion that I grew up in, which was the Mormon faith. My marriage wasn't working out. And I became severely depressed and was having anxious panic attacks all the time. I ended up moving from my hometown in Missouri to Utah. Things didn't really get better. I realized that my my religion was a lie. I realized my marriage wasn't working out. I ended up getting a divorce. I left my religion and I started chasing God no matter what that meant. I was willing to give it all up to know God. And through that journey, I ended up finding Jesus. I gave my life to him and became a Christian. I ended up moving to Texas because I had some friends here. So now here I am. It's been a year since I moved to Texas, a little over a year since I committed my life to Jesus and I've been growing my faith. I'm super content and have joy and peace all the time. I have a whole new friend group, I'm involved in church, and I really feel like I'm hitting like a peak in my coming of age, and I just wanna keep bettering myself every day. But I'm not stopping. I'm ready to keep exponentially growing in more ways than I ever thought that I could. So in this series, I am going to be going through it with you guys, and we're gonna be exponentially growing in every area of our lives. So if that interests you, you're definitely gonna to wanna to keep up with this series, and hit subscribe. So my life has been a roller coaster. I am doing some good things now. So what does a day in my life look like right now? Let's get into it. Of course I want to recognize all the good habits I'm already doing, so I'm pretty proud of my routine. After I've done my morning routine, I always start by getting ready to go to the gym. Uh, the day I filmed this, I happen to be doing a leg day, so let's knock it out. Something I have been needing to work on is my eating habits, so I kind of want to do a little bit of like a three-day meal prep. So I have like some frozen veggies, some chicken. I'll throw it in the Instapot with some chicken broth and then I'll do some rice. Then hopefully I'll have like a nice healthy lunch for the next couple days. basically just chicken rice veggies like I said. I decided to add an egg because that just sounded really good. So now it is time to try it. I added some sriracha on top and then just a little bit of seasoning. Normally I'm not a huge chicken fan but this chicken looks like it's really good. Mm. It's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I could definitely eat this as like a healthy meal prep literally every day. This is your sign to go try making healthy foods that you like. necessarily matter when I do my Bible study. I really want to get in the routine of doing my Bible study before I get ready for the day, before I go to the gym, before anything, because I think it just sets up my day to be better. I did not do that today, but it is something that I would like to change in my life. So it's about one o'clock. I'm going to do my Bible study. I like to sit on my bed, turn on some worship music, and then just do my reading for the day. Something else I've been incorporating in my day and I didn't record is five minutes of just complete silence and thinking about God. I also want to try to incorporate some more Christian content, even if it's not a part of this series, onto my channel because I know a lot of you guys are Christian and I'd love to share my faith more. Uh, then I pretty much just get a little work done and that's the routine I have right now. I'm super proud of where I'm at, but I know that I can do better. So we need to make some goals of how we're going to exponentially grow. So let me pull out my notebook and let's write it down. As I write things down, I might have goals, but you can never reach a goal unless you actually have a 
step-by-step -step plan. So I'll also explain what I'm gonna do to hit that goal. The first thing I can think of is reading more. I have this whole bookshelf over here of books that I wanna read. A lot of them are like Christian books, but I think a really good place to start would be just 10 pages a day. Like I already talked about, my eating habits. I feel like I'm a lot better than I used to be, but I do wanna get into eating more whole foods, keeping better track in my head of how many portions, how much I'm eating, how many calories I'm consuming, and pushing myself to hit my fitness goals with my eating. I'm gonna do this by doing some meal prepping, tracking my calories for a week or two to get an idea of what I'm eating, and just making slow swaps. I also wanna wake up earlier and be a little bit more productive. I think I actually genuinely need to start scheduling out my days, what exactly I'm gonna be doing that day, make a list of things that I wanna get done. I don't know what it is, I just, my brain is so chaotic. I always have a million things going on in my head and I need to figure out how to make it work. I've been a lot better at waking up, but I wanna set an alarm and actually start getting up at that time, which means that I need a better night routine. So I'm gonna write that as well. I think I wanna try to start being in bed around 10.30 or 11 and try to wake up at seven every day. I also wanna get outside more. Although I am pretty active, I'm not in the sun as much as I feel like I should be, especially for being summer. And even the fact that I live in Texas and there's really never a bad time to go outside. Honestly, the worst time is summer. But but summer's a good time to go to the pool and stuff like that. So I'll figure out a way to incorporate that. I don't really have a step-by-step -step plan for that one. My last little goal that I'm gonna set for myself is one that I've always wanted. I've always wanted to be that person that is ready, that's wearing a cute outfit when she shows up, makeup done, hair done, everywhere I go. Maybe not everywhere, but I do have like three or four things that I do within my weeks where I'm going and hanging out with people and meeting. I wanna actually be put together. And it's definitely like coming of age vibe. So there's just a couple of goals that I have. Over the course of this series, I'll be making videos on each of these as I try to get better and incorporate them into my daily habits. Of course, I don't wanna change too much at once so I'm just gonna be making little swaps little adjustments every day because every day is an opportunity to be 1% better today I am gonna go start doing some of those things on this list let's start by going outside and reading 10 pages a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back take my time just enjoy the ride A new man passing by Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it So basically I drove Charlie's car to the park and <laughs> She literally drove three or four hours on the weekend. It was completely fine, but sometimes her car will like overheat and you have to pour more coolant in there. And of course that happens while it's gone. And it took me literally like 20 minutes to try to get the lid thing open because it was like stuck. And then I finally was just like, go! And it went. And then I poured the coolant in just now. So I am a mechanic. Yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay, we made it home not too long after that. Um, Phoenix is fine. He is cooling down, drinking some water. The other thing that I can accomplish today is dressing cute when I go out. So Monday nights I meet with my mentor and I normally would just wear this, but I think I wanna put on something like somewhat cute, nothing too crazy, cause we do just like sit and talk. It is like 93 degrees out, so I'm thinking tennis skirt vibe. This is not a tennis skirt. Okay, tennis skirt vibe. I looked up how to dress up a tennis skirt and I was thinking just this top. This is my favorite little like jacket, not jacket thing for really all year round. But I think this is a serve and let's get going to my mentorship and I will be taking my car this time. Go pick him up and then we're gonna go to the store together. 
So I got home from the grocery store and I made burgers for me, Charlie, and my boyfriend. Then we all played a game of Catan and now I am getting ready for bed. I want to start doing my get ready for bed earlier so I can wake up earlier. I wanted to be in bed by 11 but it's 11.30 and I'm about to get in bed so it's pretty good. I've been taking off all my jewelry when I go to sleep because I don't like having my rings and stuff on when I lift in the morning. So I don't normally take off all my jewelry, it's so weird, but I at least take all that off. Good morning. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. I did not get up early. Woke up at 7 a.m. and was absolutely exhausted. I don't think I ended up falling asleep until like 1 or 2 in the morning. So then I was like, okay, I'll go back to sleep. I slept for like an hour, woke up around 8, 8.30, and then Phoenix wanted to cuddle. And well, if Phoenix is going to sleep on my chest, I'm not going to get up. So me and him watched TikTok together. And then he fell asleep, so then I just laid in bed. And now it's 10. So we'll try again tomorrow. Anyway, y'all get the gist of this video. I'm really just trying to become my best self, so if you want to follow along that journey, then hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.